Okay, everybody, um, today I am going to be making two types of bread with the same bread mix. Um, all right, and, uh, so what this, uh, bread mix I'm going to be using to make these two different types of bread, um, Uh, it's it's the same, but uh, the, the the recipe um, I use for both of them. All right, so uh, basically got the yeast here I need for it, and uh, I'm going to need um, teaspoons. Okay, uh, so. I've got my teaspoon here, um, and I need to have three of them. That's one. There's two. And then there's three. And then again, one. Here's two. And then there's three. All right. In previous videos, you have seen me uh, use my vacuum sealer with the uh, porthole in the hose and the wide. This is a wide mouth, so I'll need a wide attachment. But I'm not going to do it here because you have seen me do it before. But the yeast has to get uh, vacuum sealed. Um, I don't know if it has to, but um, I don't want, I do it because I don't want it getting moist, moisture inside, um, and it'll give it a little longer shelf life, so I'll va be vacuum sealing this later, so I'll set it over here. Um, I need the sugar now. Um, And then I need three uh, teaspoons of that. One, there's two, and then here's uh, three, and again. There's one, two, and three. Okay. Um, I vacuum seal my sugar because I don't want to get any moisture inside. There. Um, and then I will need one cup um, in each one of warm water. Yeah, Let the water run here a little bit, get warm. All right, there we go. There's for one of them. And then there's two of them. Now, what I like to do when it comes to this, I like to, uh, Just cover it up there. Like that. And then uh, I have to wait for it to rise. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna need three um, uh, of these uh, ones here. They're the uh, this one. I don't know what the size of them are. Uh, maybe I can find the measurements. But they're your your uh, um, bread pans uh, to be making bread. Um, maybe it's on this label, I don't know, uh, the size of these, but whatever. Um, I think they're like, about 8 to 12 inches long by about 4 or 5 inches wide by 4 or 5 inches high. Roughly speaking, um, I, that's these two here, and uh, this one is like uh, the other one is like a little bit shorter there, uh, and a little less wider, which is okay, um, because. One of these two breads are going to need the bigger one and the smaller one. And I'll show you why later. But um, I will need the butter here. Uh, I um, use uh, a barbecue brush for this. Uh, it's one of those redneck things, I guess. Um, and I'll just brush it in there with the brush on the sides, the bottom. And I'll give it a nice, nice thick, not really thick, but uh, because I keep my butter in the fridge, um, it's not like soft or anything, but... Um, so it comes out, I don't want to say relatively thick, but maybe I'll show you if you guys could see when I'm done here um, in a minute. Um, yeah. Yeah. Try to give it a nice coat in there. Um, I need more butter on the brush here. Now, I don't, this is all I use this brush for. It's just the butter. That's it. I don't use it on my barbecue. I don't use it for any other, anything else but just this. Um, and that's it. Um, so, yeah, I don't want the flavors of whatever I cook with meat in my bread. Um, mind you, that might sound like a good idea. Um, but anyways, I'd probably, uh, be for another video at some point in time. Um... So, yeah, get you guys watching me do this for a little bit. Just so you can see how I do it uh, and uh, what have you. Yeah, I need that yeast. Can't put that yeast and that sugar away because I'm going to be making rolls later after this. Um, and I'll make another video on that one. 
as well too today. Uh, so I'll have be having two videos go out today. Um, so yeah, there's those done. Um, and when I normally do this, uh, my bread, whatever else, I'll just do that and uh, just put the cover of the mason jar on so nothing gets into it and put the brush on top. See, I'll put it in that pan there and then uh, get the yeast back over and the sugar back over here just like that um, and then what was I doing next yeah okay yeah letting this stuff rise it started to rise but uh, gotta let it rise a little bit more um, and uh, I'm gonna go and put you guys on hold until it's finished rising and I'm going to go sit and have a coffee. I will be back. All right, everybody. Um, yeah, that one needs a little bit more time. That one's good. There to be dealing with. Um, being eating this here still. Um, and then, so, this is a normal recipe for your white bread. Um, and, uh, so anyways, we need, uh, three... No, uh, yeah, we'll need three of those ones, but we need a tablespoon of salt. So what I'll do is one heaping one in there, which is good enough. Um, then we need three of these. Starting to get old, I need my glasses. But that's okay. There's three. Get this here rinsed off. dried off for the other one. Um, now, I said I was going to be making two uh, bread, different types of bread here, okay? This one that's still covered up is going to be the white bread. So the bread we're making now is going to be a white bread, but I'm going to be adding an extra couple few in, um, ingredients to it. Um, because the only other ingredient we really need is, uh, three cups of flour. But I'm adding a, a few other, um, ingredients. And those ingredients are, um, I've got some dehydrated apples here that have been vacuum sealed. And so what I'll do is just, um, go like this. You can put more or, or less, depending on what you like. But yeah, I will put that in. It might be a half a cup. It might be three quarters of a cup. Um, might be a whole cup um, of these. Um, kind of thing. Depends on... Uh, how much apples you want in there, um, 
The next thing I will be putting in to there is uh, oatmeal here. Uh, the large flake oatmeal. Um, and it's going to be about the same thing. Um, about a half of the same amount of apples, roughly speaking. Maybe a quarter cup less. Um, or so, but yeah, that's, uh, looking good right there. Um, because I don't like eating regular nor like, uh, oatmeal with dehydrated apples all the time, uh, and cinnamon, so I'll make bread with it. And the good, and I find with the bread, I can put uh, uh, other stuff in there, just like the oatmeal's. I, you know, so. But I'm trying a little different bread this morning. Um, but I also, uh, like I said, uh, cinnamon. I'll put in there. Um, the cinnamon could be you could do to taste if you think the next loaf you go to make is. Uh, um, needs more or whatever or less um so yeah it all depends on how much you really want in there but i put a good uh, amount in there um apple cinnamon's all i mean cinnamon's good i think it does something for your blood sugar or something like that um so it's good for you it's one of those uh uh, things that are herbs that are spices or whatever that's good for you. Um, now this is where this is going to get a, that's what I normally, then I'd put the, 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 the three cups of flour in there, but this is where it's going to get a little interesting. Um, cause this is what I have, what I haven't made before. Uh, now because I'm making a couple of, uh, more additions to this loaf of bread. I've got elderberries here that I've dehydrated, so I'm going to be putting in some of those, um, and I would probably want to put about half of the amount of apples in there, um, and elderberries, they're extremely good for you, um, Something about antioxidants, uh, healing properties, or something along those lines. But the elderberries, you can look up on the internet to see their health benefits. Um, just like cinnamon. Um, all right. Uh, you can always put more or less in there, depending upon if you like the elderberries in there, too. Um you know, because of the oatmeal and the apples and the elderberries. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of uh, molasses in there. I um, think I'm going to actually use the tablespoon. Uh, the spoon thing I was using before, it said uh, 1 TSP. And the one I'm using now is... For the molasses is one TBSP. Okay, um, so there's one. And two, and I would say about a half of one, um, because the molasses will stick to the spoon. Uh, 
good. Okay. We'll just throw that in there for now. We don't need the molasses anymore. So it goes back into the fridge. Um, yeah, so you want to let the, I normally just leave the butter in the mate in the fridge and, and, uh, the molasses in the fridge there. Um, and I'll have them sitting out until they're like room temperature, um, with the butter so I can get that, uh, um, brush in there and get enough on and spread it around the pans. Um, and then the molasses to when it warms up enough to pour out of the jar nice and easy. Um, so now I need the three cups of uh, um, flour. And I do actually vacuum seal my flour. Holy crap. There we go. That was on there good. Uh, that was the oven you just heard. Um, I like to make sure it's nice and warm. Um, so what I'll do is uh, three cups here. This is not level. Uh, my kitchen uh, two-tier kitchen island is not level because it's uh, logs um, made out of rounds actually tree rounds um so it's got a rustic built so you want to do this on something level right so there yeah you guys can still see me good um, yeah and i try when i yes it's it's not that it's wet or anything. What happens is when I uh, go to fill up these mason jars, I pack them down. Like, you see how I'm doing it? So that's getting, trying to getting it loosened up inside the jar um, a bit. Because when I go to um, put this in there, I try to get as much in there, packed in there as possible, to get as much air out of there as possible. Um, so, uh, every little, uh, little bit of space counts, I guess. Um, so, a bit more. Yeah, that's good there. Um, where'd that lid go to? Yeah, it's just, I uh, just need that one. I'm going to need one. Okay. Um, and then I put the flour in. Now, please keep in mind, um, because I got the oats in there and the dehydrated apples in there. Um, and the dehydrated elderberries in there. I'm going to have to put more water then is recommended. Um, so this is why I always have um, two measuring cups and beside my plastic one, it's got a little bit of a crack there. So I don't want to be putting any more uh, liquid into it. So it's all my dried stuff that I put into there. Um, it's not like I use it very often. It's for the flour pretty much or sugars or whatever or whenever I need it. So, I've got this little tool here. I don't know, tool, whatever, kitchen accessory, um, so that I can actually start to mix this stuff up. Here, I don't use uh, a blending machine because uh, I live in a church here, you know, and... Uh, I like to do it like this because I believe that uh, the more love you give to your baking, the better it is. Um, so this is one of the ways or how I give my baking love. Um, so uh, 
anyways, I don't know where I was going with that, but it's time to add a little bit more water. This was filled up with four cups of water. Um, because I had, I'm, as you keep in mind, I, you just saw me nonchalanting the extra water in there, but because I've made the apple and oatmeal and that uh, before, um, I kind of know what to expect when it comes to at least making this. Um, so. And even at that, you make it a little too watery. Um, you can always add a little more flour to it um, if you have when you have to. Um, so, but anyways, because of the molasses being in there, as well as the oil and everything. I'll make it a little more uh, watery than normal, and then I'll, uh, so everything can mix up a bit better. Uh, so, then it's time for a bit more flour. And you don't want to be adding, um, Slowly add the, the flour a um, little bit at a time, little bit at a time, um, until you get that uh, nice consistency that uh, you want. Um, so it might take two or three times here of adding a little more. And a little more. Um, so, yeah. And plus, on top of that, you're letting the... Uh, the elderberries rehydrate a little bit um, as well, too. And then, uh, yeah, once I start having to hold it, it means it's thickening up. And that's a good sign because uh, that's what you want. So it's to thicken up a bit. A little bit more here. Like, I, I don't want this to be where I can put this into a ball. Uh, and start rolling it out on the counter and playing with it or whatever because of the, the apples and the, the dehydrated stuff in there. Um, it's still got to take on a little bit of water itself, too. So, yeah, I would say pretty much like a, an oatmeal kind of uh, thing is what you want. Uh, consistency, right? Um, so, when I go to take this out with a good bunch on yeah 
Yeah, see how it's falling off? That's the kind of consistency I like to have because it will, uh, I need something else here. Um, so, um, not that drawer. This is the drawer I want. Um, uh, so, yeah, that consistency, like oatmeal, because it'll give to all the dehydrated stuff time to, uh, as it's going to rise. Now, usually one of these bowls will fill up one of those, uh, um, bigger pans. Um, so, and the reason why I got a big one and a small, two smaller ones, I mean two bigger ones and a smaller one out, is because of, um, this bread here that I'm making, um, because of, uh, the apples and all that, um, and the, the apples, the elderberries, um, and the oatmeal, it's going to be that much more, so, um, when, you, you'll need another pan for it, um, All right, get this one up over here for right now. So how I, I've got a darker one here that's been used a little bit, that's a little bit older. These ones are, these two silver ones are like next to brand new. So um, what I'll do, scrape down the sides a bit here. That smells nice actually. Yeah, that smells nice. Um, so, um, mix it up a bit better here. And then what I'll do here is start that, putting some into there. that and then get it down so that that bigger one is about half full and then I'll get this one in here hopefully it'll be a close to a third to half full nice and level I need this one here again yeah when I'm doing this stuff um because I got no allergies, right? So nobody lives with me other than my dog. And he's got no allergies other than the normal can't eat this or that or whatever. Um, that he might be, uh, that might harm him, right? So like chocolate or something like that. Um, so anyways, I'll, I'll put these here by the oven. And then... I will recover them up a bit uh, here, uh, like that. Actually, I should have them on top of the uh, 
Yeah, that's why I have the oven on, is so that I can put them on the oven, because I got, I'll show you in a little bit, um, I've got a, a, a two level um, oven, two ovens in mine, um, so I can cook dinner and bake bread all at the same time. Um, which is kind of nice, uh, really. Um, get this one here uncovered, and it's ready. And then, uh, repeat the process of everything here. I need, uh, hold on, I don't do that. I want this in here first. One heaping spoon of salt. And then there's one, two, three. Okay, I can throw that in there and leave it like that for now. Uh, and then I just need three cups of flour now. Another one bites the dust there on the flower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That one was vacuum sealed. And then There we go. We're going to need this later. Need that. Like that. And then the flour here, it goes in. Um, I go like this, mix it up. I find that this tool, it uh, cuts into the bread really nicely. Um, so, sometimes I always add a little bit extra water to this one. Um, yeah. See, this is where you want you want it pretty much like sticking to everything, um, pretty much um, for this recipe. Uh, so this particular bread recipe, and then uh, so yeah. And then give it a little bit of a mixing around with my spatula spoon now. Yeah. 
Yeah, you see that? How it's wanting. Okay. Like that. That's where I like it. Some people might do it slightly different for this recipe or whatever. But anyways, um, I will get it all into here. Yeah, I don't like making bread, but uh, for the amount that I eat, uh, that's all okay. Um, I usually have make a loaf for plain white bread for peanut butter. Uh, and then I'll make uh, my oatmeal bread there. Uh, you can substitute the apples and elderberries and stuff like that. You don't have to put the molasses in um, with other veg, uh, fruits or berries. Uh, so um, you can take it even one step further. Um, which is something I've done, and I'll show it my when I go to make the rolls. Um, is you can actually put spices in this spread. Um, just whatever you got up on your shelves that's dehydrated. Um, you might have to put a tad bit more water than what I added into this one, but other than that. You want uh, like a rosemary, oregano bread, put it in. You want uh, garlic, onion, and, and uh, ginger, whatever you like, put it in. Um, so, because that's pretty much how they make it at uh, Subway there. Um... What did I do with that knife? Yeah, there it is. You know, so that's what they do. You know, you get, oh, I want to I want this bread. Or I want that, the 10 billion breads there. I can't be bothered. Not what's been going on in the last two years. I'd rather bake it. I know what's going in it. Uh, even though they do everything out in the front there, but still the point of the matter is, is, uh, I don't want to go and catch what's going on, them fondling up my food and whatever. If anybody's going to fondle up my food and make love to it before I eat it, it's going to be me, um, pretty much, uh, these days, um, so, yeah, I don't need those right now anymore, so that I can sit there. And then I'm just going to uh, put this there and get it covered up. And then uh, when they raise enough, I only let it rise once. Um, uh, I let these things rise once. And then I stick them into the oven there. Um... And I put the temperature there at uh, 375. Um, okay. You can see they're covered up. And you see I got the double stove. I used the, this one right here, the top one. So the that the heat can rise up and help rise the bread a bit before I stick it into the oven. And like I said, I bake it at 375 and it's supposed to take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I will upload this video and then when I go to make my rolls 
I will show you the uh, loaves of bread at the same time before I start making the rolls. Um, okay, and have a good day.